Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, algebraic expressions. And for this lesson, we're going to look at simplification by factorization. So uh, factorization is the concept that we learned in the previous lesson. And uh, we want to see how factorization can be used in simplifying algebraic expressions. So we have a few questions to help us illustrate how that is done as we continue with the lesson. So of course we have at the end of the lesson, we'll be able to give you some assignment to help you practice and to help you gauge your understanding of the concept as discussed through this lesson. So uh, it's also important to note that one of the uses of factorization is, is uh, for purposes of simplifying given expressions. And I want to see how that can be applied in various examples. So I want us to start with this example here. How do you simplify an algebraic expression using factorization you see so look at the look at the expression here that is given so what you're going to do here is to simplify the the numerator part and also to simplify the, the denominator part so you see when you're talking about uh, factorization said you simply identify the common factor between these two terms here which is r then you divide each of the terms by the common factor r. So r a divided by r, r will cancel r and then the answer is a. Plus r b divided by r again, r cancels r and then answer is b. Again, we have a denominator, common factor is m. Then we are supposed to divide, as we factor out the common factor, we're supposed to divide each term by that common factor. So MA here divided by M is again A, and MB divided by M is again B. So now the whole of this bracket can cancel the whole of that bracket, and then our answer is R divided by M. As simple as that. So there is another example here. So here we are going to do the numerator. We are going to factorize the numerator by, by, by grouping. So you see there is a common factor here. So we can pair these two. A is common. Again, we have B common there. So you can factorize. So if you try to uh, factorize this, the common factor is A. Then you divide each term by that A. We get X. So AX divided by A is X. AY Ay here divided by A is Y. Now plus a common factor here is B. So you divide each term by B. So Bx divided by B is X. And By divided by, by B is again Y. So you can see the two brackets are the same. So of course we are dividing by A plus B. So these two brackets are the same, so I'm only going to use one of them. So I have A plus B, and then I'm going to use, so use this plus the other one, and then you multiply by one of the similar brackets. So X minus Y. And of course, this is divided by A plus B. So the whole of this bracket can cancel the whole of that. Then we have the answer as X minus Y. So we have another one here. So again, we have a, a common factor here is A. And then we're supposed to divide uh, each term by A. So maybe if I can show how we are doing that. So we have AY. And then we are dividing by A. So A crosses A and then you have Y remaining. So AY divided by A is Y minus AX. So again, we have AX divided by A. So A cancel A and the answer is X. Then this one here is divided by the denominator again. We have a common factor is still B. So if we divide bx by b, so we have bx divided by, by b. So b cancels b, and then you have the answer is x. 
by b again divided by b again b cancels b and then the answer is y so by divided by b is y so now if you look at these two brackets they are not really the same these and this they are you know previously we were cancelling out because they were the same a plus a minus b a minus b. now these ones they look like they are the same but they are not really the same so what you are going to do here we are going to apply some technique so that we make the numerator bracket look like the denominator you see if you have uh, if you have something like 2 minus 3 you can multiply by negative 1 and then you interchange so that it, instead of 2 minus 3 you have 3 minus 2 the moment you multiply by negative uh, you can reverse this one so that the positive becomes negative i mean uh, the one that was positive 2 here goes becomes negative and the one that was negative becomes positive you see so that if you open up the bracket you still multiply this by positive 3 to give you negative 3 then minus 1 times minus 2 will be plus 2. So you see we still have positive 2 and negative 3, which you can rearrange to give you positive 2 minus 3. This is what we had up there. So this is the technique that we can use, that if you have 4 minus 5, then if you multiply by negative 1, then you can interchange now 5 minus 4. It's the same thing. If you open up this bracket, you are still going to get minus 5 plus 4. Remember, every time a minus sign is appearing before the bracket, if you open up the bracket, the sign inside the bracket is positive. So that is the technique that can help us to make the numerator bracket look like the denominator bracket so that you're able to cancel them out. So this is what we have. So we have minus a, I'm just introducing a negative there, is going to be x minus y. So the moment you introduce negative here, you can interchange this. It was y minus x, now it is x minus y. Then, of course, we have now b into x minus y. The denominator, we haven't interfered with it. So you see now the bracket here is the same as this other bracket. So you can then cross them. So we cross that. So the answer is negative. Uh, a divided by b. So we have that. So take note that the negative can uh, the, uh, the, your, in your final answer, the negative should always be in the numerator. So even if you had the negative down here, let's say instead we had a over negative b, then you have to shift the negative to the numerator so that you have negative a over b. It is always important that you do that. And again, please take note that you are cancelling the brackets, not the, the, the numbers. You can't have x minus y divided by x minus y, and then you are cancelling this. No, that's not what we are doing. This is not right. So we are cancelling the bracket. The bracket, this bracket here is the same as this other bracket. So we are just crossing them, the bracket, the whole bracket. You know. So that is how you go about it. Take note of how we did, uh, we did interchange y minus x into x minus y by introducing the bracket before it. So again, we have this. So... This one here, common factor here is x. The x squared there is x times x and then minus 4x. So we have an x here, we have an x, the at least x is common. So we have x which is common and then now you need to divide both terms by x. So if you divide x squared by x, so x squared divided by x, x squared means x times x. So if you divide by x, one x crosses the other x, and therefore we have only one x remaining. So x squared divided by x is x. And then 4x, so 4x divided by x, x crosses x, and therefore the answer there is 4. So divided by x minus 4. So again, this whole bracket can cancel the whole of that bracket, and the answer is x. So we have uh, one final one here. So we have common factor here. You can see we have B, we have 3. Again, here we have 4 and A. So you can factor out 3B uh, here. 
3b is common. There is 3b here and there is 3b there. So 3b is common. Then as you factor out, remember we are just dividing each term by what we are factoring out, by the highest common factor here. So now you have 3bx and you are dividing by 3, 3b. So 3 cancels 3b cancels b and then the answer is x. So it means 3bx divided by 3b is x minus 3by. So 3by divided by 3b again, 3 cancels 3b cancels b and then you have y. Now plus Again, here we have 4a and 4a, so 4a is common. So we are dividing 4ax by 4a, so 4ax, and we are dividing by 4a, so a cancels a, 4 cancels. Then you have x. Again, 4ay, so 4ay divided by 4a. This cancels that, 4 cancels that, and then the answer is y. So minus y. So again, you can see this bracket is the same as that bracket. When you are when you are factorizing by grouping, it's always important that you have the two brackets being the same. So, of course, this is divided by x minus y. So, I will only pick one of the brackets, you know. So, I, I take this one here, you add to that, then you multiply by one of these similar brackets. So, we have 3b plus 4a multiplied by x minus y. And everything here is divided by x minus y. So, again, the whole of this bracket cancels the whole of that bracket. And we have our final answer as 3b plus 4a. Yes, just as simple as, as that. So uh, that is the end. We have a few questions here to help you practice on what you have learned through this lesson. You can always attempt. When done, you can always post the, the, the responses, the comment section. We look at them and then we'll be able to give feedback in the book course. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson for now. Till next time. Goodbye.